Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to X-Finds TV. My name is Lani Dries. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, March 14th, 2023. Now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. First, stretch your arms up and out as high and as far as you can and breathe in the fresh air. As if you've just come out of your cave and stepped out to feel the warmth of the spring sun. As you breathe out, you're going to growl and make bear claws with your hands. <sighs> what a great way to start this amazing day. Now let's see what happened in Today in History with Alexander. Lenny, hey Patriots, Today in History on March 14th, 1879, German-American physicist Albert Einstein, one of the most creative intellects in human history, known for his groundbreaking theories of relativity, was born in Ulm, Germany. He's well known for his revolutionary breakthrough that spanned from quantum physics to gravity and motion. He might have been considered insane at one point, but genius is never understood in its own time. Now let's see what's cooking with Jasmine. Thank you, Alexander. Today's lunch is taco beef salad, mild salsa, turkey and cheese sandwich, black beans, lettuce and tomato, pineapple tidbit, and your choice of milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is apple cinnamon muffin, shrink cheese, cinnamon graham cracker, strawberry banana yogurt, graham cracker, fresh banana, 100% grape juice, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch and breakfast can change at any time, and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let you know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's get back to Melanie. Thank you, Jasmine. Scholars, this quarter's instructional software challenge is ending this month on the 26th. Make sure to take a look at the flyer to see the requirements and get them done. I know you could all do it. Patriots, here are your cell phone policies. It's important to make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you're not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. Students, the Patriot store is open every morning. Tomorrow's 5th and 6th graders train to shop. Make sure to bring your tickets. Grades 6 through 8, let's get into the game by going to the sports event in two days. There'll be games, sports, and more awesome activities. So make sure to give $5 to your teacher and get no referrals before the event to secure your spot. I can't wait for a family night tomorrow. It's going to be at Off the Wall from 6 to 8 p.m. Make sure to check the flyer for some more details. I can't wait to see you all there. Now let's see what the weather is looking like today with Hadassah. Thank you, Melanie. Good morning, Patriots. For today's weather, you can expect a nice 84 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. It's a great day to go out for a walk. In other weather news, spring break is soon approaching. As our week off is coming up, here are some places you can visit and see amazing wildflowers. If you're visiting Los Angeles, California, you should stop by the reserve, where you can see beautiful orange poppies. Also, every spring in the Crested Butte Hills of Colorado, the hills come to life with thousands of wildflowers. There are over 50 species of wildflowers that grow and flourish everywhere. Wherever you end up this spring break, make sure to spend some time outside. Now, let's go to Ariel for the birthdays. Thank you, Hadassah. Today's birthday girls and boys are Dean Carlos Contreras Molina and Donna Tudares. Happy birthday! Now, let's go back to Melanie. Thanks, Ariel. Patriots, here are your pets' expectations. He represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Merkel. You were the only one who had the correct response to Monday's Daily Challenge, which was, what games are dangerous for your mental health? The correct answer was, violent video games. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge. What happens when a sheep studies karate?
Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. When it will be announced on the next morning announcement. Everyone in RPTV would like to wish you a terrific Tuesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day. Thank you.